Well, we kicked off our Wednesday off on a soggy note as we did see those showers and thunderstorms roll through the area this morning. We're seeing a little bit of dry time because we still end up seeing that a severe potential come into our afternoon, but it has been downgraded across the entire state line. So as of right now, just that cloud cover moving across the area. We'll see some of those showers slowly start to return and bubble up as they move into the state line. We are still holding on to that chance for thunderstorms, but we did have see a downgrade. Thanks to the activity we saw this morning, we have limited our chances for that severe potential into the afternoon. Low threats still remain this evening. However, may still see isolated, stronger gusts, heavy pockets of rain and a very low tornado risk, even lower than what it was this morning. So likely to see just a chance for an isolated stronger storm. Otherwise, a majority of us will see pockets of heavy rain and perhaps gusty winds as we head into the afternoon. So the entire state line now a one out of five in the green shading that you see. So likely to just see that activity become a little bit less severe as it reaches our area later today. So the rest of your afternoon, you can definitely count on that activity reaching our area, potentially some thunderstorms into the middle afternoon before we're just left with some showers through the rest of our Wednesday. We'll see those gusty winds stick with us though, gusting up to about 30 miles an hour as we head into the afternoon and getting stronger into tonight, even your Thursday. So tracking this all out in here on future track, we'll see that system slowly reach us into the middle of our afternoon, bringing some pockets of heavier rain. Again, may still see some thunderstorms, a chance for an isolated thunderstorm to become a little bit stronger, but likely to see that rain continue to build in through much of the state line as we'll see those thunderstorm activities slowly start to move through the area. Again, pockets of heavier rain will be our best bet as we head into even the evening hours before this entire system quickly moves out heading into this evening and overnight taking with it even some of that cloud cover. So for the rest of your Wednesday, temperatures to climb into the upper 60s will slowly start to fall. We saw that AM off and on rain and expect a chance for strong thunder storms this evening, but likely to see just an isolated chance again as we have downgraded, likely to stay windy even into tonight as your winds will gust near 35 miles an hour. A lot of that activity will slowly exit the area as we stay breezy and definitely a lot colder. Temperatures will fall into the middle 30s as we'll stay cooler into tomorrow sunny, but definitely still windy. Strong wind gusts are expected for Thursday, likely to see west southwest gusts over 45 miles an hour into the day tomorrow may even experience some difficulty driving and make sure you're securing those loose items as we head into tomorrow. So expecting some windy conditions not only for today, but your Thursday still stay weather aware. Just a one out of five for that chance for an isolated stronger storm. Your temperatures will be cooler for quite some time and in your most accurate 10 day forecast. We'll end up seeing a mostly dry weekend with lots of sunshine and even a chance for rain into next week before we slowly make our way back into the 60s by the end of next week, Maggie.